For the corporate investors, too, want proof of sustainability. There is no such thing as too big to fail. So, HR needs to avoid high-risk behavior, deal with the fear of precarity, avoid employee delusion. We also need to work on long-term career opportunities, incentives for sustainable behavior, disincentives for high-risk behavior, and lower tolerance for non-compliance. That's the blue trend. The blue business trend is the trend of big company capitalism. Over one-third of millennials believe that by 2020, companies will be more influential in governments. Millennials support. Blue companies invest in size, technology, talent, strong leadership, and increasingly sophisticated metrics, analytical tools. Being a winning company means having the best technology, the best talent, the best markets, and the best margins. So what does this mean for HR? It means focusing on hard HR metrics to improve recruitment, retention, performance, and compliance. The thing about metrics in HR is that small errors multiplied by large numbers can make big liabilities. One of my first experiences at PwC involved a big US-based multinational that invested quite a bit of money in getting an answer to a little conflicts of law question on unemployment insurance that affected a very big population. It was an eye-opener for me as a conflicts of law attorney in, in terms of the use of the power of compliance metrics. Systems will get better, metrics will get better, and if your organization doesn't do it, your competitors will. So comp and bend needs also to reward creativity and performance, but it has to worry about the metrics of compliance as well. Metrics means keeping an eye on changing regulations. You're all aware of the debate in the US and Europe regarding compensation limits. Paul Krugman wrote the Nobel Prize for Economics this year, wrote the New York Times.
protection, compliance, and optimization. Tax compliance and payroll reporting in very complicated situations. I went to Iraq a few months ago to help a client sort out the status of a team of engineers that sent in a project. It was a virtual team that they, that they brought engineers from all over, with all different contractual situations. But they were facing real dangers with checkpoints every kilometer, and that was out in the country. So the HR function had a real challenge. What is an HR manager to do 